Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be opening up the Funko Shop $75 Mystery Blind Bundle. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so we are over at the office right now, and we're just putting Pops on the shelves. I brought over another four bins, um, so we've got that going on today. It's starting to come along really nicely, actually. You guys can see it here there is a lot a lot of really really cool pops on here this is all the ones from the house but even just this alone you can see more of them because that we had eight shelves at home i think it was something like that but now we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven just here and we're going to be putting more on this wall like i've said a bunch of times but yeah this is going to look really cool so even with this here you can see way more pops and i also like this angle here of filming so the corner so you guys can see way more figures like this as well let me put you on the tripod where we might have you um this would be a cool spot to do it if we do there we go guys and then once we get our real table in and stuff like that it's going to look even better but for right now this is kind of what it looks like and i'd be sitting here like this maybe or a little bit higher up but yeah here's the box today we're gonna get started with this. I'm really excited to see what's inside. We also have Bands for Arms, who's gonna be opening up his box at the end, guys. Stay tuned for that, because he gets, I don't wanna spoil it, but some really, really crazy figures in his. I don't even know if anybody's gotten anything this rare in their Funko Blind Bundle, so get excited about that, guys. But let me grab a chair, and then we'll open up this box. All right, guys, so here we are in the setup. I kind of turned the light on. What do you guys think of this? Because you can see a lot more pops than you could at home, that's for sure. Um, the corner is kind of cool. The only reason I like the corner is because then there's no glare on the figures. There's a little bit up here from the light, but we're getting that worked out. Right now, I don't even have the real table that we're going to have, and I don't have the real chair. I'm still sitting on the lawn chair that I bought for this. Um, but yeah, we're going to be getting into this here. I'm really excited to see what's inside of here. So this is a one that I ordered a little while back. This is the $75 Funko Blind Bundle. And we're also going to be pricing this out at the end to see if it was worth it. Um, I wonder if they're ever going to do this again. Um, this is probably, um, you know, to get some stock off of the Funko Shop so they can make room for other stuff. But I'm really excited to see what's inside of here because I order a lot of stuff off the Funko Shop, but I don't order everything. So it's going to be really exciting to see what's inside of here. Now, some things that I do know about this box, there's going to be five Funko Shop exclusives and one of them will be either a San Diego Comic-Con one or a Fun Days figure, which is one of their... Um, party that they have at San Diego Comic-Con. So inside of here could be a metallic genie, um, Freddy Funko genie, a normal Freddy Funko genie, or uh, Freddy Funko as, oh, what was the other one? Oh, or Freddy Funko as Frankenstein. So those three are kind of like the top grails inside of here. And because they never actually got released at Fun Days, I'm feeling like there could be a lot of them inside of here. So if you ordered one of these, there could be a good chance that you get one. But like I said, guys, stay tuned till the end for the Bands for Arms one because he doesn't have a platform to open it up on. So I thought, why don't you could throw it on this shell? That could be really fun. So we have two boxes inside of this video instead of one. So, all right, guys, let's just cut into this and see what we've got on the inside. All right guys, so once you cut the tape, here's what you see inside. Okay, so it's another box inside. I was thinking it was a bit of an awkward box here, so good there's a second one. So, it says Funko Shop Pop Blind Bundle One Set. Okay, so, here we go. So this is what the box looks like. If you guys ordered one of these, you probably know what it looks like, but there it is right there, looking pretty good. Um, okay, so let's cut into this here. So, I gotta be careful with the scissors because that means the pops are probably right under the tape here, and I gotta be careful. Okay. All right guys, so this is gonna be, all of them are probably gonna be showing on the top. So what I'll do is I'll reach in. I probably should have opened it upside down, but then I wouldn't, uh, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, so I'm not gonna look. I'm just trying to cut here. Okay, there we go. So let me do it like this. I'm not gonna look inside. I'm just gonna grab one and then we'll continue. So here we go. The first one's gonna be kind of tough to get out, but other than that. Okay, here we go. All right guys, so here's the first one. I think this is the way, yep. There we go. Okay, three, two, one. Hey, hey, okay guys, so we got Big Al. Now, I already own Big Al, um, but this is still a really cool one. This is one of my favorite Spastic Plastic characters. This is for their 20 years anniversary, or their 20th anniversary, from 1998 to 2018. So this one came out last year. There is a couple different colors of Big Al as well. There's also purple, I think, if I'm not mistaken. This is one of their own characters that they created. Um, I don't know if this one was a Spastic Plastic character in the beginning, but it is for sure a Fantastic Plastic character now. Um, I think this one looks really, really great. But let's get on to the next figure here, guys, because there is there is five more inside of here. I'm hoping maybe we can save the SDCC one till last, but I have no clue where it is is the problem. So let's go for this one here. Okay, here we go. Ready? We got... Hey, hey! We got Rocco Billy. I don't think I have this one. I know for a fact I have the green one, but I don't think I have the purple one. Yeah, so this is cool that I got this one. 
Um, this is one of those ones that I like a lot. Uh, the Rocco Billy one's actually really cool. Because we've been moving them over, um, I've seen a lot of the ones that we have, and I don't think I have this one, so that's cool. And you guys can also see on the back here, there is the back of the box. I like how they give each of them their own kind of design for their logo. I think that's really fun. And these are all Funko created characters, so they really like to have fun with their designs. And I think they all look really great. Also, let me show you the Big Al one. So it's like a martini. Uh, it's like they got the um, the olive there in a uh, toothpick, and then it's got the bow tie with the Big Al right there. I think that one looks really great. But let's move on to the third one here, because we have another one here. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go with this one. Okay. Okay guys, so this one here is Fwooper. Now this is the flocked version of the normal one. Okay, so this is the normal one. If I'm not mistaken, the flocked version is exclusive to Kohl's. So, cool that we got this one. I also think I have this one, but you know what's funny? I know Rye the Pop Guy has been looking for this one, so maybe if he wants this one, because he can't get Funko Shop stuff because he's in Canada. Um, we are lucky enough to have the American P.O. Box, so it's nice for us, but uh, he doesn't have one, so he, he can't pick these up, but it'd be really cool. Maybe I'll ask him if he wants this one. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. Fwooper from the Funko Shop. This is from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. There's a bunch of other ones in this set, actually. I like this uh, set a lot. My favorite one was Newt Scamander in his uh, suitcase. I never did pick that one up. I saw it a couple times at Barnes & Noble, but I never did get it. So maybe now we'll have to pick one up because uh, this kind of reminded me of it. So there we go right there, guys. Fwooper, that's the third one. So there should be three more inside of here. So let's go for... Ooh, this is tough. I don't know. Let's go with this one. Okay, here we go. Good thing that they're all right up, too. Okay. Hey, we got Gil. So, um, I don't think I have the orange Gil. I know for a fact I have purple and green, but I don't think I ordered the orange one. Uh, so that's really cool that we have this one now. Um, yeah, Gil looks great, actually. Gil's one of my favorites, again. Um, a lot of the Spastic Plastic characters or Fantastic Plastic characters look really cool, like I've said. And there's Gil's logo on the back there as well. They've kind of made up his own little... Um, logo right there. It's got Gil. He's got the underwater kind of features. It looks like a cave or something. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, they've got like the fish and they're kind of like, they look kind of prehistoric as well. And then he kind of reminds me of the creature from the Black Lagoon a bit. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice one. It's number nine in the Funko Pop, uh, the Pop Funko line, sorry. Um, but there it is right there. So let's get on to the next one. Let's go with... We still haven't got our SDCC one yet, so I'm excited. So this is one of them right here is SDCC. I don't know which one. Maybe let's go with, okay, let's go with this one here. Okay. Okay, there we go, guys. Kind of trying to feel the front here. Hey! Okay, guys, so we got HR Puffin stuff. Now, this would be our SDCC one. Yeah, this one's really neat. I love the detail on this one. This is one that sold out on the Funko Shop. Uh, I think it sold out the first day, if I'm not mistaken. So they had this one, and then they also had... Oh, Dad, you're in here. You know what the second one that they had on there was? It was that... From H.R. Puffin stuff? Yeah, or no, the the World of Sid and Marty Croft. It was the one, he looks like, uh, he's got tentacles, and he looks like he's got, he's got, like, um, leaves on him and stuff. Oh, uh, Sigmund. From Sigmund, the... that's the one. Sigmund, Sigmund the Sea Monster. The sea monsters, yeah. That's the one. Okay, guys. Saturday mornings. I never watched this. This is before my time, but I know you really like these, so if you want this one, you can have it. Um, I know you talked to, well, I remember you talked a long time ago about you wanted HR Puff and Stuff Pops. And they made them. And now I have two, so if you want one, here it is right here. Uh, yeah, this is the San Diego Comic-Con one with the shared sticker, um, but that's completely fine. I mean, I get it. It's going to be, you know, whatever. I'm just excited to get another SDCC Pop right here, but there's that. So, let's get on to the last one here. It's probably going to be, it's, a, it's I mean, it's got to be another Funko Shop exclusive. I don't know what it's going to be, though. Um, I'm trying to think of what other ones could be. Hmm, I don't know. Anyways, let's get into this here. Okay, guys. Three two one oh okay yeah that's cool so this is the peep lavender bunny um and this one's really neat because this was part of the pop candy line i was trying to get all of these guys as they came out but then i missed the sour patch kid the green one and that one's worth a lot and if i'm not gonna um complete the set i mean that's the only one i'm missing so if i ever wanted to complete it i could with that one um but as of right now they haven't made any since the lavender bunny and pink bunny like all these peeps ones were the last ones they made maybe they'll make some more for around easter time i'm not sure but funko you should continue this line i think it'd be cool to see more of them these also i feel like could have been thrown into the ad icon line um but they're i get it they're more like candy they're not so much um the like what do you call it like spokesperson not spokesperson mascot. mascot is the word i'm looking for for the food it's more the actual food is what this one was here but that's what i got guys from my bundle so let's pull out the funko app and let's price these guys out to see if we made more than 75 dollars or less okay guys so i pulled out the funko app here and we're going to be scanning them so let's start with fooper here uh, so Fwooper is worth 
$10. Okay, so there's Fwooper. That's one right there. Um, that one is a cool one. I believe it's still on there. So, I mean, it's not going to be the most expensive one. But let's get on to the next one here. So we've got Big Al, which is worth... Okay, Big Al's worth eight. Eight is another one. So we'll say $10 so far for both of them. 18. We're at 18, though. Um, let's scan this next one. Here we have... Okay, Gill Orange is worth $13, so that is $21, $31, sorry. Uh, so we've got $31 there. Okay, so there's three of them. Next up we've got, this one would be Rocco Billy Purple. This one's worth $17. Hey, that's pretty good. So now we're up to $48, that's pretty good. And then, let's see here, I'm adding them in my head while I'm also trying to figure out everything here with the, with the app. Okay, let's see what we got here for the pink. This one's worth $15, that's pretty good. Um, so we're up to $63. $63 is pretty good. Now, let's get on this last one here. This one just happened to be last, but this one will probably be worth the most because this is a convention one and it was on the Funko Shop. I'm guessing maybe $25? I don't know. Let's see here. This one's worth $29. All right, guys, so everything in total, after adding it all up, comes up to $92, and that's American, too. So this box was $75, and I think with shipping, it came up to, like, $82, something like that. So we did make our money back on this one. This was a pretty cool one. It's something, too, if you like a lot of the uh, Fantastic Plastic characters or San Diego Comic-Con ones from the year, you get a lot of really cool figures for that. But anyways, guys, before we go, I'm going to cut over to Bands for Arms, where he's going to open up his mystery box. Hey guys, I just got my Funko blind box yesterday. Um, I've been in school yesterday morning and then afternoon and then this morning, so I didn't have a chance to open it. So I just got it and I'm gonna open it for you guys because I promised Tristan from Top Pops and uh, Tommy from Tom's Bottle that I'd open it and film it. So let's see what it is. So I'm going to assume that the uh, boxes are upright on there, so I'm going to open it backwards. So that way I can be surprised as to what I pull out each character or each box that comes out. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Are you excited? <laughs> Let's see. Alright, got Big Al. Big Al, and uh, a Fooper from uh, Fantastic Beast. All right, and uh, let's see, we've got Lavender Bunny. I don't know, it's not looking too good. Everybody keeps getting that genie, and I guess that's the top price to get, huh? All right, we got a Zuwu. It's a glow in the dark Zuwu. Got a uh, glow in the dark Frankenstein. Oh, look at this! Got a uh, genie, pretty fuck as genie, but it's not the metallic one. But this is still cool. All right, these are my uh, blind box items. Pretty cool. All right, thank you. That was the craziest box I've ever seen. I didn't even know that was possible to get both of the rare ones. I noticed he didn't get the metallic genie, but he did get the normal one. So that was crazy. Um, put, your, put your thoughts in the comment section below, guys, what you think of that box, because that's better than any box I've ever seen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you just wanna see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. But Pop and Stuff was watching too and knew exactly what to do. He saw the witch's bowl attack and as the boy was fighting back,